Hello, Thorn Apple. Last week, the Senior Pastor Search Committee released an update letting you know that the elders had accepted their recommendation to split the senior pastor role into two separate roles, lead pastor and teaching pastor. The primary reason for this change is that the committee was not able to find anyone who meets all of the qualifications for senior pastor. They wondered if asking one person to meet all of our qualifications was even realistic. Even if someone thought they could, would it lead to burnout? So our answer to this dilemma was to split the role. Splitting the role is not unique. Other churches have done this with great success. In fact, Pastor Remy's former church is currently using this model. But we have more news to share with you. Half of our job is done because the search committee has found someone who is an excellent match for the lead pastor role. This person is our very own Andrew Vanover. That's right, Pastor Andrew. That might surprise you. It surprised us. But after combing through 40 applicants, listening to over 500 sermons, and holding numerous interviews, we realized that the best person to fill this position, he was with us all along. It just took us a year to come to that realization. God always reveals himself to us in his timing, not ours. Now, we still have to find a teaching pastor, and we are well on our way to discovering the person God is preparing for this role. In fact, we are currently speaking with a very promising candidate. Please keep us in your prayers, and we will keep you updated. Hey there, I started working at Thorn Apple last July. So I am just days away from having worked very closely with Pastor Andrew for over a year. I've been in ministry for many years and worked with many pastors. I know what it takes to lead a church. And so when Sue asked me if Andrew has what it takes to lead Thorn Apple, I said, absolutely. You know, many of you aren't aware of all of his talents because he has worked behind the scenes and you haven't even seen him for this past year. But during this past year, really a year of crisis for our church, he rose up to meet the task. Andrew guided the church and our staff through a time of great loss with compassion. And he's been helping us to, to pivot as we adjust to a post-pandemic world with a vision for our future. So I'm excited to have you to get to know him better over the next few weeks as he candidates for this lead position. I am so excited to be part of this chapter of God's Story at Thornapple. I've grown in my love for this church and our community throughout my decade here. I see how God has a part for Thornapple to play in his work in this corner of the world. So much has changed, and yet so much remains the same. Brokenness may hide well in the suburbs, but it's all around us and within us. Jesus knows this and offers his presence and his power to bring hope and healing to everyone. That is good news. I'm excited and a little scared by this, God's new call on my life. I'm trusting the Spirit in greater ways as he sends you and me out and into his work of blessing our neighbors. I look forward to talking with you more in the days ahead. Now we know that you have questions. We can't wait to tell you more. So starting in a matter of days after the 4th of July, we will offer a variety of ways for each of you to hear the full story of how we came to this decision and give you the opportunity to share your thoughts and ask your questions. So enjoy the holiday and we'll see you in the days ahead.